Hey dolls, so today I have a video that is long overdue. I had so many of you requesting this vamp lip and it is one of my favorites. I love wearing this lip all the time. I wear it at least once a week. And there's so many different ways that people do it. So today I decided to give you two different ways. These are my top two ways that I love doing my vamp lips. I wanted to give you all two different options just in case, you know, you guys find one way easier than the other. So hope you enjoy it and let's get started. First we're going to start off by moisturizing our lips and I'm taking Vaseline's Lip Therapy and I'm putting this on because I'm going to be using a matte lipstick so you really want to moisturize before you use matte. Next I'm taking this foundation and I'm just going to apply it all over my lips to give it a, an even base. This is optional, you can use concealer but concealer for me is too drying so I'm using my foundation. Next I'm taking this eyeliner from Stars Look and I'm just going to outline my lips and we're just going to make a black outline all around the lips once we've completed the outline we're going to start shading in the corners so strictly only the four corners on your lips is where you want to be shading and then you're going to take that shade and go up towards your cupid's bow and also from your bottom lip you want to go and meet in the center but the lower center now I'm taking this small flat brush and this is from Lequeux Cosmetics and I'm going to use this to blend the black out so it's kind of like blending a smoky eye for eyeshadow but this is just on your lips Once complete, take your favorite red lipstick. Mine is Ruby Woo from MAC. And you're going to start in the center and you're going to work out that red towards the corners. But you do not want to go all the way towards the corner. So make sure just to kind of stay in the center and blend out towards that black smoke. Next, we're just going to keep building up that blackness on the outer corners. You don't want to go full on black right away. You want to build up that smoke just to give it a more natural effect. And you don't want it to be too harsh. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just adding some more black to the corners and just getting it to life perfect it. Then I'm taking the brush again and I'm just smoking that out a little bit. You can leave this vampy lip matte, but I'm going to take it up a level and I'm going to use my Ruby Woo Lip Glass. And this just reminds me of a blood red, so I thought it looked perfect for this vampy lip. And all I'm doing is applying it in the center. I'm being very careful when it comes to applying it near the smokiness. And just rub your lips one final time. And this is your ombre vampy lip. I want to love the way you do. What you do it like you do No one else can break through Option 2 is pretty much a complete reverse. I started off again by putting moisturizer and foundation on my lips, but this time instead of starting with the lip liner, we're going to apply our lipstick first. After you've applied the lipstick, we're going to start outlining our lips with the black liner. Once complete, we're going to start shading in all of the corners. Now this time instead of using a brush, we're going to just be rubbing our lips together. So I'm going to start on the right side and then I'm going to switch over to the left side 
All I'm doing is pretty much just rubbing them together so the black transfers. Then I'm going to rub my lips together in the middle. And once complete, we're going to build the color up again. So just start building in the black. Whatever rubbed off, you just want to fill in again. And again, th with this option, you do have to build up as with the first option. So I'm just going to be rubbing my lips together and applying the black. Now once you've gotten the final fade that you like or the smoke that you like in your lips, you want to start shading in just the very, very corners of your lips just to give it that super dark effect. And here's the final ombre without using a brush. So that is my vampy ombre lip tutorial today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And make sure if you do try out the lip, make sure to post it like on my Instagram page or on my Facebook page. I'll have the links down below because I really do love seeing all of your recreations. But anyway, I love you all so much. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give your suggestion down below too what video you'd like to see next. Okay, love you dolls. Bye.